Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Today we're going to be looking at the Create Custom Tool tool within Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's get into it. So it's a pretty quick, pretty quick video today, pretty quick tutorial. So basically, this tool is exactly what it sounds like. You can make your own custom tool given all of the existing tools within Acrobat on the left-hand side. And so each of these you can you can click into to see more options. So you can you can view all these sub options associated with each tool. So you can just pick whatever you want really. And let's do something let's do something silly. Let's do like a PDF from a web page. So we can just click it and then we can double click it to move it over. Or we can use this little button right here, add to custom set. Hmm, what else can we do? Let's highlight. And then I'm just doing this completely off the cuff. I have no idea what I'm making right now. Let's make a form. Forms are always fun. Uh, create a form, sure. And we can give this some title. We can additionally make this look a bit nicer. So we can add a section and give it a title. And so we can also edit the section name. We can delete our section. And then from within here, we can add in dividers, add in some additional instructions. OK, and now we can save our tool. And we can give our tool a name. And there we go. So now we have our custom tool and our workflow. So we're going to take a PDF from a web page, we're going to highlight it, and then we're going to make a form out of it. So unfortunately, this default little tool, like open a file to enable more tools, this um, <laughs> it isn't really applicable to this because, you know, we got to make our PDF out of a web page. But oh, it already has Bing. But we can just take Bing. That's the go-to, and then get only one level because we don't want to sit here waiting all day for this thing to download. Wait for it. There we go. So there's the Bing homepage. So we've made a PDF out of it, which we've done before in the Create PDF tool. So from here, let's hop back in to this. OK, so now that we're back in this tool, we can now highlight. So let's just circle this cute little otter. <laughs> Perfect. And now we can make a form out of it. So let's start. And we got to save it first. Hey, there we go. OK, so we actually do have a form field and a button, it looks like. Or is it just a, yeah, it's a button. So. We've got our form, and so now we've got fully gone through our workflow. So I guess we'll just save it now. Lovely. But yeah, that's just basically what you can do with the Create Custom Tool tool. You can take any workflow you want, any workflow that you have, any set of tools, sub-tools from within tools that you want to be in one single place and easily accessible, so you can apply them to multiple files. That's what this tool is for. And similarly, next time we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Action Wizard tool, which is pretty similar to the Create Custom tool. It allows you to do more of the same thing, but uh, you, it allows you to standardize routine PDF tasks. So you can do this, you can make your workflow, but then apply it to multiple files at the same time, adding something of a degree of automation of the process. It'll like go through step-by-steps. It'll help you out along the way. But yeah, until then, I'll see you next time, and take care, everybody.